we are one of, I do believe we're one of the older, more long established trade associations. Almost half of the workforce has had some sort of experience in restaurant or food service at some point in time. And so we do have a lot of people here uh, in, the, in, in the association that um, have an affinity uh, for food or food lovers. So the lunchroom on a day-to-day -day basis is a, is a lunchroom. Um, yeah. Anybody in the office can bring their lunch in here and, and sit and eat in here. On nice days, you can go outside on the, on the deck as well. Uh, and uh, that space can open up. We, we broke in the kitchen with Chef Anthony uh, Lombardo from 1789 uh, after we had opened up the space uh, from a board meeting. Uh, we had a couple other receptions to kind of show the space off, and the chef was, was uh, gracious enough to come over and help us break in the kitchen. What exactly does Washington, D.C. have to do with the National Restaurant Association? The industry has become more and more uh, involved with, or the regulation, federal regulations have become more involved with, with the operation of the restaurant business. And as the business becomes more complicated, more parts of the operation uh, are affecting federal legislation and are, are affected by federal legislation and regulation. But there are times when we are seeking uh, some sort of solution from the federal government uh, that is helpful. Uh, in a proactive way. Is there one issue coming up this year, 2014, uh, with regards to, to D.C. policy that you really have your eye on? Well, we've got two or three. Um, immigration reform is mm -hmm. really at the top. Um, we've got a bill out of the Senate. There is an opportunity like we haven't had in about a decade to move something comprehensive national immigration reform policy. We are always working on the health care uh, issues and ACA. Uh, issues. We are supportive of comprehensive national immigration reform, uh, sensible immigration reform. Um, our members are very supportive of the workers that work in the industry. Uh, over 13 million people work in restaurant and food service uh, in this country right now. The NRA's name has been in the news a lot. Um, yep. Does that bother you guys? Do you care? Are you trying to sort of not emphasize the acronym and instead like, no, we're the National Restaurant Association. I probably do need to recognize that the other NRA, uh, in this case, the National Rifle yeah. Association, uh, owns that moniker. So you actually don't want to be called the NRA. In, in fact, we uh, usually don't use the, the acronym yeah, yeah. Uh, ourselves uh, in most of our communication. There's one or two instances when we're, where we can. Most of my friends around town uh, will introduce me as, you know, working for the other NRA or, you know, it depends on what your view of, you know, the Rifle right. Association's business is. But uh, some people in the office say buns, not guns. Yeah. I don't regularly go around town saying buns, not guns. It's usually a conversation starter.